dark. Hey guys, Rob from Georgia. Well, maybe it ought to be just Rob from Buffalo. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Anyways, you know, I just uh, I just checked the site the other day, and I swear this thing still had like a week and a half or more to get to me. But lo and behold, it shows up on my uh, uh, porch today. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing. And uh, this is, uh, the box is a little beat up. Got me a little worried considering what is in here. But uh, this is easily, uh, next to my Alien Anthology on blue, this is probably the nicest uh, box that I have ever, not this thing, but what's inside. Um, I've ever gotten. So I'm pretty stoked to go ahead and open this up. So we'll be careful. I didn't prep anything. So I'm just going to kind of go through, take my time a little bit, make sure I don't damage anything. And uh, we'll see how the trip across the pond went, as they say. This is from the UK. And uh, well, I mean, dude, there's two things in here. I'll do the one first. This is uh, the Dam Busters. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen the Dam Busters, but if you remember or maybe you have ever seen uh, Pink Floyd The Wall, this is the movie, the go-to movie that that guy keeps on going back to and watching on his little TV set. And uh, that's actually how I first came to know about the Dam Busters. Um, back when I was a kid, although I really couldn't care about this movie, later on I did find out what it was and ended up getting a, a copy of it and uh, fell in love with it. And uh, so this is a nice Blu-ray uh, transfer and uh, Studio Canal, I guess, put it out. Vintage Classics Blue um, and some extras on it. And uh, But basically, in short, uh, this is based on a true story about how the English Air Force came to figure out how to blow up German dams in uh, World War II. Michael Redgrave is in it, and uh, he's not the only one. This thing is just uh, full of stars. But uh, if you have never checked out the Dam Busters, you really need to. And this is really probably where, uh, no, I'll just say, this is where George Lucas got his infamous uh, trench scene from Star Wars. He lifted it right from this film. And if you've ever seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I've always wanted a nice uh, Blu-ray copy of that. Not for the big thing. This is the Arrow box for Phantasm. Take a good look at that. Like I said, this is easily the best or nicest box I have ever got. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up real quick. I don't know what my time is. I hope it's not bad, but I'm gonna try to do this without damaging the box at all. But I do wanna open it up real quick and let you guys take a look. Wow, check that out. There is the ball. The ball. Well, I'm not going to mess it too much, but here's the nice little, pretty big book. And uh, I don't know how you... Okay, so there's the ball. And then check it out. Phantasm, Phantasm 2. Phantasm 3, Phantasm 4, Ravager, and of course the bonus that has a uh, couple documentaries that uh, I really uh, can't wait to take a look at and uh, check it out. So there is the ball, the box, the films, the arrow, Phantasm box set. I uh, just got to my house across the pond today, and of course nice blue of dam busters and uh it's gonna be nice to uh start digging into this stuff so anyways hope you enjoy the video hopefully it's not that long and uh as we always say here go bills <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.